Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. It is Thursday 28th of April and today I just went for a small grocery shop on this mini cup. So at the moment I am doing a small mini cup. I started it at about £173, which is the heaviest I've ever been besides when I went on a perma bulk and got hella fat. Hella fat. Insert picture here. I'll show you how fat I got. So yeah, I um, I hit a new low of 167.6 pounds and then I went out for my birthday and I screwed up. So I am doing a couple of sort of lower macro days to sort of catch up a little bit because I did sort of eat quite a lot of food. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically increase the volume of my meals. So I went to the grocery shop. I went, <laughs> grocery shop. I went to Tesco and I just bought a load of salads, a uh, load more veg, and basically I've just eaten my breakfast. I had a egg white omelette with courgettes and red onion, and also some oats. I'm a big fan of oats. If you do not like oats, I'm going to have an issue being a friend. Alright, so I am going to basically get on with the rest of my day and I will catch up with you when I eat my pre-workout meal. Hey guys, so before I do this voiceover, I thought I'd just show you that I actually do have hair. So what I get when I go and get my hair cut is a skin fade quite high and then I get, I, I'm basically growing this all on the top. So yeah, that's what I get. I do have hair, I just choose to wear a hat. Let's go on with this voiceover. Alright guys, so what you're seeing here is basically a chest and arms deload session. And I wanted to talk to you a bit about why I do deloads and the reason behind them. So essentially, you've got to think of gaining strength as a ladder. So there's a ladder of progression. You want to get higher and higher and higher. Now, this ladder is going to be ridden, and I'm telling you, ridden with obstacles. Okay, so think of these obstacles as bananas, right? Just for context. So you're climbing, you're climbing, you're climbing. Everything's going really, really well. You're gaining strength. You're getting closer to the top of this ladder. But things start to slow down. You get like achy, aches and pains, and you see up, up ahead, up at the top of the ladder, a few steps away, you see a banana. Now you know that this banana is going to basically send you back. It's going to send you backwards a few steps. So in order to avoid this banana, what you need to do is back off, reassess the way that you're going to climb the ladder, and then you'll be able to avoid it and basically pass anyone that has hit the banana and fallen back down. So that's what essentially I think of a deload is you're taking things back a gear, reassessing so that you can climb higher on the strength ladder with more sort of more assertion, more focus, and basically you'll be able to make more strength gains in the gym. I've had really good success with taking this approach to deloading. So what I do is I take an entire week, I drop one set of each exercise. I keep the weights fairly similar, but I won't touch failure. So I'll stay absolutely clear of failure on even the accessory movements and definitely the compounds. Definitely the compounds. So I take a set away. Basically what this is doing, guys, is I'm reducing my training volume. Just slightly, not massively, but just slightly. In order to basically, I'll go back into the gym, I'll feel rejuvenated, and I tend to hit a lot of PRs the week after a deload. So it's basically telling me, AJ, you did need this. Well done, spot on, mate. So, that's essentially what I, why I wanted to explain deloads. I think there is various opinions as to whether you should or should not take deloads. But look at it this way. If your training is getting worse and you're not getting stronger, 
and you're not allowing yourself to put weight on the bar anymore. Uh, you're getting demotivated. Exercises are feeling shit. You probably need to just take, you know, back it off a little bit. Some people like to take weeks off the gym. Some people like to, you know, just basically have a few sessions where they casually relax or they go away and do something else. You know, so I think these back off weeks are just necessary in order to make more and more progress. So basically, I hope this helps. I hope this clears up any issues or any discrepancies that you guys have got on DLOs. Um, I think that they are important and I hope to be hitting several PRs in the next video that you see. I hope you've had a great week guys and I'll speak with you soon. Thanks for watching.